Hello, if you don't know by now, I'm Avery and I'm a senior at UNC Chapel Hill and this is my vlog about passion. I got to talk to my dear friend Dylan who I've known since middle school and Dylan has so many passions. He seems to be good at pretty much whatever he decides to do. So I had a long list of options to work with, but I decided to talk to Dylan about self-expression because he seems to know exactly who he is in the world and how he wants to portray himself. Dylan is confident enough to decide what he wants to be or what he wants to wear for the day and to do it and to own it. And that's something that I used to struggle with growing up. I remember in both middle and high school, I would wear athletic shorts as often as I could. And when I would experiment with a little bit of mascara, I would immediately go back to wearing nothing if someone figured it out. So it's definitely been a slow um, uphill climb to who I am today, but I still think that there's a lot of room for growth. So I'm very excited to talk to Dylan more about self-expression. So let's get into it. So me and Dylan met in middle school. We played the clarinet together. Well, he played pretty much every instrument and I played the clarinet. Um, and then in high school, he decided to actually play the clarinet and surpass me in every single way. Mm. And I think that's the best way I can describe Dylan. No matter what he does, he's all in. And so I was super excited to interview him about his many passions. But I think today we're going to talk mostly about self-expression. How would you say you express yourself day to day? Um, I would say I express myself a lot in my personality. Um, when I'm happy, I'm very loud. I'm very talkative. When I'm not happy, I'm very quiet. When I'm angry, I'm also very loud, but it's not a very happy loud. I also um, I wear my makeup when I'm feeling a little bit more of a uh, thin fish energy to catch my drift. Dylan, you seem very sure of yourself and who you are and who you portray yourself as. <laughs> well, to me you do. So what are some tips to people who maybe are struggling with portraying themselves and why self-expression would be helpful for them? Um, quite frankly, just don't give a Because <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, we're all going to die. Life is short, but life is beautiful. Life is the kind of thing where you only get what you give. And the more time you spend saying, I can't do this because of how I might be perceived, the less time you spend saying, I did do this and this is how I was perceived and this is because of that I have found who I am. And how do you think you've shifted from who you were before to who you are when you're fully yourself out in the world? I don't think there's ever really a true thing as being who you are to it fully. I feel that we as people are constantly growing, we're constantly changing. I mean, look at music trends. They never stay consistent. The only constant is there's a lack of constant. And I feel like that the more time we spend trying to find ourselves, the less we realize there's nothing to find, there's simply something to be. And if you ever want some philosophy, just go to Dylan's apartment and he will really blow your mind. So, Dylan, for the next few days, I'm going to wake up a little bit earlier and try to express myself through what I wear and the makeup that I put on. So, what tips do you have for me? I say, before you pick your outfit, pick your personality. And there you have it. That is why and how I will be dressing for the next few days. So since talking to Dylan, I have been putting a little more effort into what I wear and waking up a bit earlier to make sure that I am portraying myself as I want to be seen in the world. It sounds deep, I know, it's just clothing, but I think that it really did make an impact on my week. From this little social experiment, I learned three pretty big things. The first thing that I learned from this experiment is that picking out your clothes and doing your makeup in the morning can be a form of meditation. And that might seem strange, but in my class, The Branding of Me, we meditate every day before we start our lecture, and we've been talking about the importance of self-reflection and just being there. And this week has forced me to wake up a bit earlier, which I'm not very good at, definitely not a morning person, but that has also given me a little bit of extra time just to sit and reflect on who I am and who I want to be in the world and just kind of be alone with my thoughts for a little bit longer than I would have if I just rolled out of bed and picked the first t-shirt that I saw. Second, I learned that people are going to say something about you no matter what you do. And I already knew this. I mean, that's how life works, right? Everyone always has something to say. 
but it was interesting how often people wanted to tell me that I was dressing differently. One day it was a little bit warm and I decided to wear a dress, which whoa, crazy, right? But for some reason, a bunch of my classmates or my friends would kind of point out that I was putting more effort into my clothing. The way that they said it almost seemed like trying was a negative thing. In middle school or high school, I probably would have just been like, you're right, I need to go home and I need to put on my t-shirt and my knee-length basketball shorts again. But now that I've grown a bit and I'm more comfortable with who I am, I just kind of laughed it off because there's no reason for them to care about what I'm wearing and I felt comfortable in that dress and I liked the way that I portrayed myself. So why on earth would I care what other people thought? No matter what you wear, people are gonna say something, but it really doesn't matter. And as long as you feel good, keep doing it. You're doing great. And with that, my third and final thought is that putting time into the way that you look and the way that you want to present yourself gives you so much confidence. And confidence is one of the most important things that you can have. I automatically listen to people who seem more confident, and a lot of the times they don't know what they're saying, but they have more impact. I used to not have as much self-confidence, and now that I really believe in what I'm doing and what I'm saying, things start working out and people actually start listening to the ideas that you have. And I'm not saying that my ideas are any better than they were three years ago, but now that I really believe in them, people listen, and that's a really strong and empowering thing. And I think that's so cool that putting on a pair of overalls can make you more confident and can affect the way that you live your life. So I'm super excited to keep waking up a bit earlier and being more deliberate with the way that I present myself um, so that the positive benefits can come with it. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and I also hope you'll check out the other ones and have a great day.